Okay, so you heard a little bit about the controversy surrounding Chris Ophelia's The Holy Virgin Mary from 1996, um, but I wanted to look at it a, a little more closely, uh, or at least give you, give you a moment to kind of process what exactly you're looking at in that, uh, in that work. Um, one of the more controversial works of the 1990s and early 2000s, as the uh, as the video mentioned. Um, so for Ophili, I mean, I think he approaches this painting as a, a, a as a painting that's really full of contradictions, uh, and Ophili himself might might speak to that. He was, in fact, despite that the anti-Catholic uproar, um, he was raised Catholic in in the UK. Uh, he was conceived um, by uh, by Nigerian parents, uh, I believe, um, and speaks often of his African heritage and had an opportunity to visit Africa on several occasions um, to sort of dig into to that. Um, so he's thinking about the sort of role of his African heritage within a colonial context. Um, particularly, he, he refers back to, to um, trips to Zimbabwe uh, and how he wants to capture the optical and emotional intensity of Zimbabwe uh, in his works. So within that, I think you already have the, this kind of divide, right, between Africa and Europe, between himself as Catholic versus uh, maybe uh, African religious tribes. Um, and certainly, as we saw in the work of Walker, uh, you have him again exploring this through the use of kind of stereotypes. Um, you have in this image uh, of the Holy Virgin Mary, uh, an exaggerated use of, uh, again, those Negroid uh, so-called attributes um, that become predominant in uh, in racist cartoons. Um, and here he's uh, reappropriating those stereotypes that are used to denigrate uh, black people and black bodies, um, and not just putting them on anybody, but putting them on the holiest uh, figure uh, or, or I suppose one of the one of the holiest figures in the Catholic Church and uh, the Holy Virgin Mary. Um, I mean, you can uh, draw out the comparison here too by looking at a traditional uh, depiction of uh, of the Virgin Mary or the Virgin and Child enthroned in this case from the Santa Trinita Maesta uh, by Cimabue in uh, 1283 to 1291. I realize this is kind of a, an insane thing to put up side by side, but this is exactly the kind of thing that people are responding to when they encounter what Ophelia is doing, right? So we see in the traditional, you know, this uh, the clothed refinement, the glowing uh, color, uh, everything, uh, ref uh, everything refined and full of chastity, uh, even as the as uh, as the Virgin has the child in heaven and glory surrounded by angels. The angels here, of course, have been replaced by images from porn pornographic magazines with these butts uh, flying around, uh, flying around the figure. Um, you have the the chastity of uh, of the Virgin Mary being addressed directly here, both through the the sexualized pornographic images, um, through the exaggerated uh, right breast of the Virgin Mary that's made of uh, of elephant dung, um, and, and the uh, the uh, vaginal forms that make up her robes and, and dress, uh, sort of uh, going towards uh, going towards the bottom. There, um, you have the sort of seductive or, or some kind of provocation from the uh, from the lips, the nostrils, these eyes, all these exaggerated figures that are played up to be about the sort of sexualization of of black bodies are all are all part and parcel of this image. Um, so you get a kind of, uh, you know, at least a hint towards titillation here. But again, I think that this this in and of itself is full of, uh, of contradiction. Um, and then, you know, most controversially, of course, uh, I think we can we can skip it with this comparison now, uh, but is the use of the elephant dung. You see that on the bottom uh, with Virgin Mary written in on uh, with map pins, I believe, as well as the elephant dung on her chest. This was lovingly donated by Lang Lang and Geet uh, to uh, two elephants from the London Zoo. Um, 
who he's sort of taken these objects that uh, these objects of shit uh, and, and contrasting that with both the beauty of the Virgin Mary with the ugliness uh, of, of shit itself, I suppose. Um, but there's also a connection here between the elephant dung and regeneration, ideas of regeneration within African tribes. Um, so you again get this sort of alternate connection where within a fine art context, of course, this uh, use of dung is very controversial and seen as ugly, smelly, whatever, uh, even though he does, uh, I believe he casts it in um, in some kind of resin and then decorates it with these map pins. So this isn't just straight from the elephant. It has been kind of uh, refined here. But he's taking all of those contradictions uh, and playing them up through the material, right? Through the material of the elephant dung in particular that he becomes kind of renowned or, or notorious uh, for using. Uh, but I think he does this as well through the use of the materials of the, uh, of the uh, paper uh, collage, that's not college, uh, paper collage, using the magazine uh, cutouts of, uh, of butts uh, from pornographic magazines as well as the just straight up appropriation uh, of the kind of um, uh, of the altarpiece, right? Of taking an altarpiece and putting it not on top of uh, not on top of a church or in the altar, right? Not raised above that, but raised above uh, elephant dung on the floor of the museum. Um, and so, uh, a, a really controversial piece, but one that I think it's important to to consider, uh, and one that while it's uh, using the mode of painting, is again using materials, uh, different kinds of materials, to gather new forms of meaning, uh, and to present this range of contradictions uh, in this uh, this really wildly controversial work. <laughs> 